Hello everyone, my name is Hun Ding and I'm currently a cloud solution engineer at Vitale Solution. I'm delighted to be here at the Open Source Summit Europe to share with you a very practical and relevant topic for everyone working with Kubernetes, optimizing Kubernetes multicast backup and restore. Our team consists of three members, me, Tang Chen, and Sun Moon, all of whom are cloud solution engineer with Tel Solution. First, let's talk a bit about the concept of Manti Cluster. As the name suggested, Manti Cluster involves deploying Kubernetes across multiple clusters. Why do we need Manti Cluster? It increases availability, distributes workloads and ensure system stability. With this advantages, we choose the multi-cluster as architecture to deploy Kubernetes for our company's private cluster, private cloud. We, we use cluster API to manage cluster within the company with each tenant corresponding to your department. Time controller is able to install it on, on the tenant clusters. Backup and restore are crucial in Kubernetes as they take, protect the data in running application, so we use Velero to safeguard our data. Velero is a powerful open source tool that enables backup and restore in Kubernetes environments. It supports backing up cluster resources and persistent volumes with the ability to migrate data between clusters. Vero integrates well with cloud storage solution and provides disaster recovery capabilities. However, when dealing with a multiple cluster, a significant challenge arises. How can we ensure efficient backup and restore? especially with multiple clusters running simultaneously. This is the key challenge I'd like to highlight today. In Velero's current architecture, to perform backups and across multiple clusters, Velero needs to be installed on each cluster, which increases complexity. Therefore, a more op optimal solution is required. To address this issue, I would like to introduce a new approach using a single variable instance to, to centrally manage all clusters. Here is an overview of the proposal architecture. A single variable controller is installed on admin cluster. We then use the queue config of different clusters to manage the backup and restore processes. From this controller, we can easily perform backups and restore for each cluster without needing to include install Velero on each one. The architecture is simple but highly effective for managing a complex multi-cluster for Kubernetes environment. So, how does this solution integrate with Velero's existence features? This, this is the current Velero backup flow on tenant cluster works as follows. First, Velero backup controller will list the type of resources to backup on the tenant cluster. After that, Velero backup controller will list the corresponding objects to be backup on the tenant cluster. And it will back up these resources to an object storage. With my proposed architecture, the backup flow for Vero in the centralized architecture will be like that. We use the tenant cluster's queue config to create a corresponding client to connect with the target cluster to fetch data. Then the data will be back up to an object storage. 
Pharaoh is a powerful tool for backing up and restoring Kubernetes, supporting both both system volumes and cluster resources. With this centralized approach, you can still leverage all Pharaoh's features, including backing up in your namespace, applications, or even persistent volumes. The key point is that you don't need to change how you manage backup. You just need a centralized mechanism to do it over for your cluster. For example, when restore data from a cluster, you simplify specify the queue config. So, for summary, um, these are advantages of um, my proposal approach. There's centralized management for cluster. Second, it will optimize resource uses in uh, our cluster. And third, it's easy to maintain between multiple clusters. In the future, this approach will support a variety of volume types and maybe be compatible with file system backup and data removal. Thank for attention. All the questions you can ask me via this QR code.